Welcome back to the Tech Space. This is the sixth tutorial in the C++ programming or computer programming series or playlist, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to be going over a few different things in this video, so just stay tuned. Uh, both including, in this video we're going to be going over variables, all of the different variables, how to use them, how to implement them, how to give them assignments, how to have other people assign them store them everything that you can think about in variables we're going to be going over in this video and c++ programming so if you are new please subscribe hit like and we are going to get straight into this video so with all that being said we're going to jump straight into this video on variables in c++ so what we're going to want to do is i'm going to go ahead and just redo this while i'm talking really quick um what you're going to want to do when it comes to variables is understand that there's two different categories. There's categories that are used to uh, store letters and there are categories that are used to store numbers. Now those are the two basic things you're going to want to know about how variables work and what they're dedicated to doing. So that being said, we're going to create two videos. In the first video, we're going to go over numbers. In the second video, we're going to go over letters and sentences and all that good stuff so stay tuned and here we go so the first variable we're going to want is the same as our function that we're working in right now and that's specifically integer integer allows us to have a integer value stored in a specific spot on our program and as you've seen in the input and output videos um, using those variables you are able to store the user's input and then output it back to them program remembered exactly what they writ and that's basically that so you can enter in integers uh numbers that are from negative infinity to infinity um that are not fractions or decimals um for example negative three negative two negative one zero one two three um and infinite in both directions so that's what integers store. Next we have double. Now what double is used for is to store bigger versions of those ver or those numbers. So say you had a decimal, you could use a decimal to be stored in double and that would be work or that would work perfectly. So for example, we can say 3.14 and that's how or that's what double is used to do. And this, just like double, we have something called float which also does the same thing and flow allows us to also store um, bigger amounts of decimals so if you had a decimal that was like five decimal places long you could store that and it would be perfectly fine so you have to use these different variables when you're introducing different numbers so if you have a small decimal you can use a double if you have a long decimal you can use a float but you cannot use a decimal in an integer variable so That'll make sense once you implement a few of them. Go ahead and create a few integers, a few doubles, and a few floats, and you'll see how they work uh, when you output them to the screen. Uh, you can also try, you know, putting an integer in the float, putting a float in the integer, and see what happens. So if we go ahead and just see out n, which is our float variable, what we're going to see is that, well, if it would load up here, what we're going to see is just the number that we get and uh, or the number that we gave our float variable which is 3.33333 and that's it so we can do that same thing with b which is our double and you'll see we get 3.14 same thing with a which is our integer and we get two so that's how in or that's how variables work with numbers uh there are a uh, few more things that we'll go through when we're going over math and how to use math uh, with uh, C++ and implement different expressions and solve equations and stuff like that. We'll be going over uh, some other things that involve numbers, but for now, this is basically the only video I'm going to be making on uh, doing anything really with numbers uh, as far as I know. So something might come up, but for the most part, this is what we're going to be doing and this is the foundation of number variables or variables that store numbers in C++ and also other programming languages. So if you've written in JavaScript or Java, you know that the variables in there are very similar similar to the variables in C++. So that is something you're going to want to pay attention to. And uh, it makes it a lot easier for us as the programmers to actually program. So 
pay attention to these little cues throughout the process and understand them to their full extent. Try them on your own and um, I encourage you to watch the video again if you aren't understanding anything and if you still don't get it, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Uh, send me a message on Twitter, on Facebook, anywhere you want. Um, I'll try to reply to you as fast as I can. Uh, a lot of people are, re are sending comments out so it gets a little bit harder. But other than that, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, if you love C++, you're going to continue the rest of the tutorials, uh, the rest of the playlist, or you just like this video and you just needed this one video, uh, regardless of the fact, please give me a like and a subscribe. It'll be much appreciated. I am almost to 3,000 subscribers, so we're trying to push that as fast as we can and get up there in the numbers and subscribers. So I have tons of content coming out. Just stay tuned again by subscribing. If you want to turn on my notifications, you can. If you want to, again, send me any question, anything you have, uh, and post your code in the comment section below because I would love to see, again, what you guys come up with. Everybody has different, uh, different style of coding, a different way they like to do it. So send me what you are programming. Uh, when we're done with the tutorials, after every tutorial, just copy and paste in the comment section below. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, and we will be going over in the next video again how to use letters, sentences, uh, paragraphs, all that good stuff with letters in the next video um, concerning letters and variables. So we'll be going over that in the next video. I will see you there, and again, Thank you for watching. So to sum up variables, we basically have number variables and letter variables, and then we have things called Boolean variables. And we'll get into different things as we move on, but that's the gist of all of the variables. If you want to even look them up, uh, you can look them up. There's integer, there's slope, there's double for numbers, and those basically what you're going to want to use for um, when you're creating a variable that's containing numbers and then when you're creating a variable containing letters you can use char which contains a single letter um, I don't know if we went over this but it contains a single letter and just like that uh, it can only hold one letter so that's what the basic thing of the char or character variable is um, and actually it can't be a number um, so next we have after char is string, which we know just holds all sentences, paragraphs, and the rest of strings. And then that's basically it. So we'll go over things later on uh, that I you could say um, stretch these and make them, you know, something else. Um, but it's never going to be a uh, different variable uh, in. Well, actually, sorry, there is the bool variable which can be either true or false and that's basically it so if you guys have any questions concerns or anything like that let me know in the comment section below other than that like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video in the next video we will be going over the if statement um so we should be done for var with variables for right now and if you don't understand them yet send me a message or a comment and let me know uh what your problem is so Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.